Hey, what's going on everybody? So this video is a message to anyone who's feeling behind financially. I definitely know what it's like and I think a lot of us know what it's like to feel behind financially and it gets you to a point where you just wanna beat yourself up. It kinda makes you feel like you're down on your luck and you just look around and it looks and feels like pretty much everyone is doing better than you financially and they're happier and they're more successful. And that right there can make you feel a lot of things at the same time. It can make you feel like you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, and it might even make you feel like a loser or a failure. Like I've heard people call themselves these things, like it's a real thing. People give themselves this type of self-talk. And what I wanna say before I get to anything else on this topic is this. When you wanna do better in life, when you wanna push yourself, you're gonna have these moments where you feel like other people are doing better than you. And some of them will be doing better than you and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And for the most part, people who feel behind financially or just behind in life in general, they're gonna be happy for those people who are doing better than them. But there's always that part of you that feels like you need to be doing more. You need to be doing better. And that's just your inner self that wants you to be better, that's driving you to do more things. But what can happen a lot of times is that can also drive you completely up a wall and make you fall into this mental state where you're questioning your own self-worth. And if you're feeling that way, you came to the right place because on this channel, we don't beat ourselves up. We don't sit around saying, woe is me. We don't cry about our situations. We analyze and understand our situations. Then we get up and we improve them. So welcome to the channel. So anyway, now I'm about to get off my soapbox and get into the actual video. So check this out. I want you to understand something. Well, actually, I want you to understand two things. One, your situation is temporary. Everything about it is temporary. And two, everyone starts at zero. And I really think some of us need to be told that more often that our situation is temporary because it does take time to improve your finances. It's not like just one thing you can wake up one morning, say I wanna improve my finances and then boom, the next day everything is good and you don't have to worry about anything anymore. Like if it worked that way, life would be so much easier for everyone in the world, but it's not like that. But it is something that can be improved and it can be improved quickly, I'm talking months. And some, for some it's gonna take a year or more. But what we don't realize is, even though this process of improving ourselves and improving our personal finances can feel like it takes forever, it's not going to take forever. It's just gonna take a bit of time and a bit of focus. And the more you focus on the negative and the more you focus on what you don't have, you're giving yourself less time on your hands to actually improve your situation, which is pretty ironic. And I know because I've done this several times since the age of 21, so I know a little something about this. In fact, I remember this one particular time, and this story might sound a little crazy to you, but um, this is legit. I went to the grocery store. I was like 21, I had just started my full-time job. I'd probably been working like three, four months at this time. And as I was leaving, I just remember going to the ATM and as my receipt was printing out, I noticed another person's receipt was connected to mine. Like they were there first, but they just forgot to pull their receipt. So I just threw it away. But on the way to doing that, I couldn't help but notice the numbers on it. It actually showed how much was in their account. And it was like 10,000 and something dollars. And at the time I only had like 3,000 and I felt like, man, it's gonna take me forever to get to 10,000. Like, I bet they feel so financially secure right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was, that was my first time actually comparing myself to other people. And this is legit. Like, I would see other adults, like, older than me, obviously, like, 26 and above, driving in nicer cars, living in nicer places, having higher up positions at work. And I was like, man, like, what do I have to do to get there? So like some of it felt like a pity party, but then some of it also felt like this is driving motivation to keep going and go harder in life. And that way I can get the things that I want, but also have that financial security so I can literally afford these things. And to put that into perspective, that time of my life was very temporary. Fast forward a couple of years, I was in a completely different financial situation in a good way. So that's just what I wanted to do. I wanted to put that into perspective for you. But then on the other hand, the second lesson is this. Everybody starts at zero. But here's the caveat before you roll your eyes and click off the video. The caveat is this. Your zero might look different than my zero. 
your humble beginnings might look different than mine. You get what I'm saying? For me, my humble beginnings was working in a grocery store, stocking shelves just to pay for books because I didn't want my parents paying for anything when I was in college. Did I absolutely hate my life when I was doing that? Yes, yes I did, because that was the worst job I think I've ever had in my life. Even worse than my catastrophic first full-time job, which I made several videos about. So if you haven't seen those, check those out. For you, humble beginnings might have been not having a car, having to walk from place to place just to get to and from work or to and from school. You might have grown up in poverty, you might have grown up in the middle class, whereas your friends may have never had to struggle a day in their life and don't even know what it's like to have what you would call a struggle. Everyone starts at zero, and I say that because everybody at every level, I promise you, has absolutely felt like they were behind financially, and they felt like they had to do more in life. Someone right now watching this video is making about $50,000 a year, and they would love to get to 70. And there's people who watch me and even get on coaching calls with me who make six figures and want to get, you know, instead of being at 100,000, they want to get to 200,000. Some want to be able to buy property, invest in stocks. And the bottom line to this whole pattern that you're hearing right now is this. People who want to push themselves and grow, they want to do better and get better. And they understand that making a certain amount more than they're making right now can have life-changing results, or if not life-changing, at the very least, it'll help them reach their goals whether that's to get the car they've always wanted while still being in great financial standing, getting the house they wanted, getting the degree they wanted so they can then go and get their dream job that pays a ridiculous amount of money. This stuff exists for everyone. But as you proceed to go on, I just want you to really, really keep this in your mind. I want this embedded in your mind for the rest of the video. Everyone starts at zero. As a matter of fact, if you're feeling behind financially or if you just want to share this with me, I want to know what your goal is. How much money do you want to be making per year? That should get a good conversation going, you know what I'm saying? So moving on to the next step. When you're feeling behind, things get very, very overwhelming. And I've known this to be true in every aspect of life. But if we're talking specific to finances, this is what I want to go over. Like sometimes you have all these things in your head of where you want to be and then you look at where you are, but you don't write anything down, everything's just in your head, so it feels like you're more behind than you really are. For example, you could have a little bit of debt. Let's, let's say, for example, you have some student loan debt, right? Let's say you have 20K in student loan debt, but then you also have, uh, you're, you're behind on your savings, you feel like you should have more saved by now. And at work, you just feel like you're not making as much as you wanna be making, otherwise your debt would be paid off and your savings, you'd be swimming in it, you know what I'm saying? Let's say you're unhappy with your vehicle, like there ain't nothing wrong with it, but it's just not as fancy as what everyone else is driving. This is the perfect example of how people around you every single day feel. So the first step to this is to write everything down that's overwhelming you about your finances, everything that you want to accomplish or whatever you might feel behind on. And I can promise you, it might be quite a few things, but I can guarantee you it's not nearly as much as what you created in your mind. It ain't like a thousand and one things. And then you know what you do? You focus on one thing. One thing, the biggest priority you have on that list, that's what you focus on. And that's how you improve everything. You go one by one. And yes, this can take some time, but this is one way that you can do this while staying sane throughout the process. Because I promise you, if you try to fix all of it at once, it ain't gonna work. I know because I've tried, and it's one of my biggest financial mistakes. Trying to, for example, for me, I was trying to save a bunch of money and get out of debt at the same time and increase my income at the same time. And I burnt myself all the way out. And some of those things definitely took a hit. Plus, I was wishfully thinking and watching too many YouTube videos and gave into quite a few pipe dreams about how I could drastically change my financial situation in just a matter of months and make like $4,000 in passive income, pay off all my debt, have my savings on point and all of that, and drastically increase my income. And that led to a lot of wasted time. So I'm just telling you, focus on one thing at once, and I promise you'll be a ton more successful. 
And the reason I bring up the wishful thinking piece of it is because I want you to seek information when you're focusing on one thing. So if you want to figure out the best way to save money or the best way to get out of debt, and I can make a whole video about getting out of debt, but I'm just going to tell you real quick the best getting out of debt method, the avalanche method, 100%. That is the quickest, easiest way to get out of debt. But if you still want me to make a video on it and give you a tutorial, I will be more than happy to do that. Just say something in the comments. But anyway, when you focus on one of those aspects of your personal finances and you want to improve it, it's easy to fall into a rabbit hole and just give in to a ton of information, too much information to the point where you're literally reading and learning misinformation and you're not applying anything. So now you're just sitting there reading all day and it feels like you're doing something until you look at your finances. I've done this, I'm telling you 100%, like I own up to this. I've done this and it leads to a ton of wasted time. You don't wanna be that guy or girl. And this is the last thing I wanna say on this topic before I move to another thing. It goes back to the first thing I said. This stuff takes time. So for example, if you look at my YouTube channel, I have well over 100 videos of just personal finance, right? And if you just watch one video, you have a piece of information. But within the topic of, let's say, saving money or frugal living, there's a ton of different subtopics that you would need to understand and learn. Just like if you were to read a book, you don't just read one chapter, you read the whole book. And as you learn information, you try out some of it because not all of it's going to apply to you because personal finance is personal. And, that's, and that purely means one size does not fit all. I love Dave Ramsey's content, but some of his advice does not apply to every single person who consumes his content. You get what I'm saying? And that goes for any financial influencer, anywhere. So you want to take actionable advice whether that's from a book you've read, a video you've seen, but of course think it through and see how it will theoretically affect you. But when you hear really good sounding actionable advice that you think would sound good for your financial situation, put it into action. Don't just graze over it like, I'll remember that later. No, you won't. I, look, man, I, I know this game. I'll be forgetting everything. And understand that as you do this it's going to take a few months like if you learn how to budget it's probably going to take you like three or four months to get the budget completely down if you're saving money it's going to take months worth of paychecks to get to where you want to get to even years sometimes if you want to increase your income it's definitely going to take a while and i if you want to increase your income i'd say give it about two years before you start seeing actual results now you can see them sooner but i'm just saying that's a good rule of thumb for increasing your income so focus on one thing, get to where you want to be in that specific area, move on to a different one. You got this. And now here is the big one, the one we've all been waiting for. Compare you to you at all times. Don't compare yourself to anyone else but yourself. If you're going to fall into a comparison trap, it's got to be with you. Am I doing better than I was doing yesterday? This boils down to your daily habits, the way you wake up in the morning, what your routine is, how your performance is at work. Am I doing better at my job than I was doing yesterday? Am I getting to a different milestone in my business than I was in yesterday? Am I adding value and impacting more people today than I was yesterday? Did I have a breakthrough today? Did I put something in action that I haven't done in a long time and got good results today? Am I ahead? of where I was. You have to constantly look in the mirror and assess yourself. Am I making improvements or am I falling back? And sometimes you're gonna fluctuate just like this, but that's okay because you're a human being and sometimes you get tired, sometimes you get burnt out, sometimes you get discouraged. And it could be simple things that you notice about yourself. It's like, ah, I told myself I was gonna read a chapter a day. I, I didn't read it all today. I, I'm, I'm messing up. T tomorrow I'm reading two chapters. You get what I mean? Man, I was supposed to save $500 this month. I don't know what happened. I only got to $300. So once you're able to look at yourself in that way and make those improvements, you'll be leaps and bounds ahead of where you would have been if you didn't do any of that. And when you do this, it's just like, my favorite analogy is when you're in the gym. So like, just a little backstory. I used to be pretty small. Like, I, I was probably like 
110 pounds when I first got into the gym and I could have easily just looked around and compared myself to everyone else but I didn't do that I didn't really care what everybody else was doing like I was like I get it there's a bunch of buff dudes in here <laughs> like I really don't care about all that I'm in here to get into the best shape that I can get into I'm here to build my muscle so I went up in there built muscle and it was like a few months and then a few years went by and next thing I know I was out lifting the football players the wrestlers, the big guys. And it's because I didn't go around focusing, well, well, he's he's benching 315, so I gotta bench 315. It's like, nah, that's cool for him. <laughs> I'ma get there. And so it's it's important not to compare yourself because once you focus on yourself, the thing you'll notice is you'll have consistency, something that a lot of people don't have. And when you have that consistency, that's when you take off, that's where you hit your goals, and that's when you stop feeling behind because you're in your own little world and you're constantly improving and you're constantly making changes and that is how you do it anyways i hope you enjoyed this video i definitely enjoyed making it and i hope i spoke to someone who really does feel behind financially or just behind in life in general you can always change your situation it's probably not the your favorite thing to hear people say but you can always change it no matter what you just have to to know and believe in your capability to do so. But anyway, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant. This channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. So you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay cold.